ceremony to mark the handing over, Energy Minister John Peter Amewu warned that government will waste no time in taking over operations of the electricity company of Ghana if PDS fails to meet key performance indicators. So let's take you down memory lane and listen to exactly what the uh, energy minister said when they were doing the handing over. And I therefore wish to encourage the local participants to demonstrate a high level of core competence. The challenges currently faced by the ECG, as you are all aware, include the following. Suboptimal revenue collections at the Bena tip, high electricity theft, high aggregate technical and commercial losses, overloading of equipment lines due to capacity constraints, weak feeders, and obsolete equipment, among others. If for some reason PDS which we expect to come in and address some of this concern, will be repeating some of these challenges, or will leave some of these challenges undressed. And I don't see the rationale for us gathering here. The Ghanaians will therefore be given the opportunity to do it. If the losses will remain 25%, the power theft will continue to increase. The technical drive to change equipment will remain unchanged. Then it's better we take over our equipment and run it at the same level. John Peter Mehu, former energy minister, and was under when he was the energy minister that this whole concession was agreed on and handed over to PDS by, from ECG by the government of Ghana. So